Hey, how's it going? So there are a lot of mildly interesting things in the game that you probably wouldn't know or think about unless you knew specifically what you were looking for. And these things aren't going to change the way you play the game or anything like that, but I wanted to share these today because I think they're kind of neat. And there's a good chance that you probably know at least one, if not more, of the things on this list, but my goal is that you learn at least one new thing today. So with that being said, let's get right into these 10 mildly interesting facts in Old School RuneScape. The first mildly interesting fact is about god swords. So usually when you equip them, they're two-handed and they make your cape flutter around. But when you go into a free-to-play world, your character holds it in one hand and it doesn't affect your cape at all. And this pretty much works the same way for any member's weapon in a free-to-play world. The game ignores it and if you try to attack a monster, it'll look like you're just punching it. For the second fact, we all know about the stray dog that wanders around Varrock and will randomly follow you around. However, if you have a pet cat or a kitten out, they'll interact with each other, which can make for a pretty mildly interesting interaction to watch. The stray dog is such an underrated NPC in the game in my opinion and definitely needs some more love. The next mildly interesting fact is about magic logs. Now there's not too many animated items in the game but magic logs are one of them. And if you buy some off the GE and look in your collection box they'll be animated in the little top right corner of the collection box. Which is very strange because the item itself isn't animated in the collection box, your bank, or your inventory but they are animated in that top right corner of the collection box and also when you drop them on the ground. The next fact is about the equipment interface. So normally when you open it up, it usually shows your character just standing there, but that's not actually what it shows. What it really shows is what your character is currently doing. So for example, if you're sitting on a bench, it'll show your character sitting down. Another example of this is if you start running and open the interface, it'll show your character still running for just a second, but then stops because opening up the interface will stop your character from moving, which is why it'll change back to showing your character just standing still. The next fact is related to farming, and whenever your character is harvesting a crop, they'll tilt their head sideways. This is mainly noticeable if you angle your camera straight towards your character, otherwise it would be pretty easy to miss. Fact number 6 now is related to clue scrolls. A lot of the time you'll have to fight double agents, and sometimes you'll even have to fight them in the wilderness. Well, pretty much every monster in the wilderness has a 1 out of 30 chance of dropping a looting bag if you don't have one already, and if you kill a double agent in the wilderness, they also have that 1 out of 30 chance of dropping a looting bag. Now the next fact is about putting items on a table. So normally when you drop an item on the ground, it only stays for a couple minutes, but if you put something on a table, it'll stay there for 10 minutes. Something else people use tables for is for trading items over from their Iron Man accounts to their main accounts, because normally you can only release them, but you're also able to set them on a table to show up for other players. Of course, if you're an Iron Man account, you wouldn't be able to enter anyone else's house, you would have to use a random table, but you're still always running that risk of someone sniping the items from you. Fact number 8 is about Iron Men. So when you go south of Lumbridge into the swamp, there's some fishing spots there, along with a couple of small fishing nets that spawn right there. However, for some reason, if you try to pick it up, the game won't let you, and it tells you that you're an Iron Man so you can't take that, which seems kinda strange considering that it's a natural spawn. In the previous video, I talked about the green pixel in the construction icon, and how there's also a yellow pixel in the augury icon, but there's actually another pixel which stands out, which I'm still not sure whether or not it was put there as a troll, but if you go to the equipment tab and take a close look at the call follower button, you'll see it's actually surrounded by purple pixels, with one brighter one standing out in the bottom right corner. And the tenth and final fact is that if you take the chocolate bar on the table by the chef in Xanaris, you'll get an amusing conversation where she scolds you for taking her chocolate bar. Your character will apologize, and the chef will almost act like a grandmotherly figure and tell you that it's it's alright, you're looking thin, so you probably need it anyways. But that's all I've got for today's video, and like I said, I do hope that you learned at least one new thing from it, but if not, I still hope that you enjoyed the video either way. Also, if you want to see more videos like this one, then please let me know by giving the video a like, and I'm currently posting every single day at 9am Pacific Standard Time, so if you want to stay up to date on the videos and see more from me, then please subscribe to the channel, it really does help out a lot. But otherwise, I would just like to thank you so much for watching, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you again tomorrow.